Hey there, it's Biz414 with another episode of Steam Bin. Today I'm checking out Nidhog. Nidhog? Nidhog? Um, I haven't played it yet. I'm pretty interested to see what it's like. Uh, as you can see, it's got very simplistic uh, silhouettes, you know, silhouette, monochromatic style artwork. Which is really interesting, really fun. Uh, it's got good music, side scrolling, all the stuff I generally like about gaming. I did do the how to play, which is a very short tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump into the single player game and see what I think of it. See how it plays. Alright, so I'm this yellow guy over here, and it's got a two-button control scheme, but then it's also got more advanced sword movements, so up and down changes your height of your sword, and uh, moving up and down into a sword will disarm your opponent, and then you can go in for the lunge, and you can do low and high attacks. Pretty cool. Oh, I didn't. I didn't have a sword there. Oh, I dropped my sword. That was not good. There we go. So it's a pretty, pretty simple set of controls, but uh, very difficult to master. Oh, the guy just threw his sword at me. Did he just break my arm? That is brutal, man. Very, very difficult this game is. Oh my gosh. He just stabbed me in the eyeballs. It's a good thing this is just, you know, silhouettes. Otherwise, this would get a mature rating. Alright. Let's try to get back in the game here. disarm this guy. Oh, or or get stabbed in the chest. Wow. It's fast paced. This game is really fast paced. Alright. That seems to be a good move that roll. Yeah, take that, buddy. Oh, I feel like it, this is just going in a circle here. Ah, oh, poo. Oh, this is hard. This is very challenging. <laughs> Especially when you just run belly first into swords. As I seem to be doing often. See if I can disarm this guy. Oh, as I get stabbed in the chest. All right, I don't want to go final screen. Oh, don't, don't just throw your sword on the ground. There we go. Oh, I'm terrible at this game. I have. What way do I want? What way do you want me to go? I'm gonna go this way. All right. It's confusing because I, like when when I lose, it's like telling the orange guy, the computer guy, where to go. Uh oh. Dang it. Let's get that back. Ah! Right in the eyes. This is super hard. Alright. I can't go. I gotta take care of you first. What the heck? Alright. Ah! Man! Yeah! 
No! Stop killing me! I don't get it. I don't get it. Why does he get to go that way? Get out of here. Alright. Come on. Yeah! Jiminy Christmas! Got you! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! 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 Alright. Disarm. Every time I try to disarm, I just get stabbed in the gut. Stop with the stabbing in the gut. What? Yeah, there we go. That was just pure luck, by the way. Again, pure luck, pure luck. Right. Luck ran out on that one. All right. Let's go. Right in the eyes. Let's get a sword back. Oh! He just spawned right in. Stabbed me. Not fair. Not fair at all. Not fair. Alright, so my verdict on this game is, is that it is ridiculous hard. Like, ridiculously difficult. And it's it's good music. I like the music. I like the presentation. I like the art style. I'm not going to say it's too difficult, but the learning curve is very steep. And part of my confusion is, is I don't really understand why I'm going in a circle. Maybe I'm just not getting far enough but it seems like I get to a point where it's just you know just restarts itself where I'm just in an endless loop now maybe that's the nature of the game that it's just a certain you know only a survival mode type of game uh, which is fine but not necessarily what I was expecting I was expecting more of a story mode so I'm going to keep playing for uh, for a little bit here. See if I can get any further. Ah, oh, come on. It did say final screen there, so maybe I would have progressed further if I would have beat that, that screen. Stop breaking my legs. Purple or orange guy, I'm colorblind. I'm not really, but I'm stuttering over my, my words. Come on. Now he's going to respawn right away. Right there. Final screen. Here he comes. Oh, I just fell off the conveyor belt. Alright, he's going to respawn. Come out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So there is progression. I thought that thing was... It did eat me. Okay, I thought I was going to have to fight it. All right, so it's not 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 confused anymore. I kind of know what's going on. It's like when you die, you're you re, you can restart on each screen, but if you lose, you get pushed backwards by the opposing color guy. So this time he's green. He just did some sort of power throw to me. Let's get him. No. Wow. Oh, Stabby McStabberson here. Alright, got him. And he respawned. Alright, it's like we're fighting in the clouds here, or fog. Oh, ninja. But it, it is a difficult game. If a person were to put the time in to uh, really, really learn the intricacies of it, 
of the sword play because there's a lot of parrying and stuff that I'm not not really doing here when you just lightly tap I'm just kind of running gung-ho like a berserker into the into the fight instead of using finesse as you're meant to in this game like that so whoa did not expect that ah uh, so yeah if you're gonna get into this game you've definitely got to take the time to ha, to to learn the, the the finesse of the sword fighting that's what it's all about that's what the game is is built around and uh, I'm not doing that. I've been just running face first into that from the other guy. Woo! And then at the end you get eaten by a giant worm, which is phenomenal. Take a sip of my tea. So this apparently each one of these different colored guys is each level so we've done orange green now we're on to yellow or no blue teal whatever that is I'm yellow yeah oh right in the gut see there I go trying to berserker berserker rush into battle again it's just kind of my play style generally get excited and I just rush in ah let's just run away run away I like I like how the uh, grass moves around you this music is wonderful by the way I like the new the new song in each level go Aww. Oops, lost my sword. Yeah, got to mine first. He threw his away. There we go, final screen. Oh. Got him. Oh. can't see what's going on in those tall, tall grass. Ah! Oh. I don't want to get pushed back too far. I was right at the final screen. No, no, no. Come back here. Come back here. Ah! Oh. See, and then when he, I can't let him pass me, too. Ah! Oh. Which I'm doing. I'm going right back to the beginning of the level. That's frustrating. All right, now he's gonna respawn right there. There we go. There we go, got him. Ah, oh, didn't work that time. I was gonna try and throw it at him again. Doing the Berserker Fury mo mode. All right, let's run away from him. It's just telling me to go, so maybe I can just, you know, ignore these guys. I can. I'm not going to be able to ignore you! Again! Oh no! Don't get stabbed by him. Terrible. Yeah! There we go. Alright, I'm getting the hang of it. It's uh, pretty steep. Pretty steep of a learning curve. But once you start to get into the uh, flow of how the game mechanics work and how the the sword play works. It's pretty fun. I'm gonna do just this one more. I think. And then call it done. Just because I don't want my video to get too long. I'm not not trying to do a full playthrough. Just kind of trying to get a first look. Just get a feel for the game. Which I think we are. This is very very cool uh, background. I, I really like this level. It's really gloomy, Castlevania-y feeling. Ah, uh, I like the, uh, the fire. Oh, 
pay too much attention to the, <laughs> to the background. Come on. I was doing so good. And then I wasn't. Stop being the berserker. There we go. You just gotta try and move under or above their sword. And then... I'll not do that. Like that. Ah, oh, not like that. Oh, come on. Right here at the beginning again. Now I have no sword. Oh! I guess I have a sword again. Gee. Yeah. Breaking legs. Aw, he had the high ground. There we go. It's kind of a cheaty way to do it, but it works. Aw, he cutted me. There you go. Oh. Aw, I shouldn't have thrown my sword. I hate it when they, they hold you on the tip of their blade like that. It's brutal. Oh, don't throw your sword away. Get it back. Ah. Let's just run away. Oh, I can't run away. Sometimes it lets you just run to the edge from them. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh. Cheers. Oh, he broke my leg. Serious. Ah. Oh. Brutal. Wow. <laughs> oh, terrible. I like how your uh, your blood stays in the level. I'm just now noticing that. Oh, Let's get out of here before he respawns. Oh, terrible doing really bad. Really, really bad. Alright. Alright. Calm down. Oh! Calm down and get stabbed in the eye. Just ran right past me that time. Oh, man. When I thought I was getting the hang of it. Final screen, huh? Not for me. Whoa, what happened? For some reason, my uh, game dropped back to the uh, desktop screen. And I have no weapon. Hopefully my recording was all right. Ah, come on. Get the sword. Don't give it to him. No! Give me that back. There. And now I have a sword. Oh. It's telling me I can go. So I'm going to go. Oh. I'm gonna try and just avoid him since he's telling me to go. I'm just gonna go. Just gonna go, go, go. Just gonna 
go. I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to kill you. I can just go. All right. Good to know. I wasn't gathering that either. I just was figuring I had to kill him every time. But you don't. Sometimes it's easier, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's easier to stop. Oh! He caught me on my roll. The same thing doesn't work over and over again. There seems to be a pretty decent AI at work here. It's not just like random pattern, you know, random pattern. Like some games. That's easy to discern. Let's go. Final screen. Alright. If I can beat this, we're done. Go. Yeah! Alright. That's gonna be it. That's it for this one. Uh, final verdict on this is it's a really fun game. Really, really hard though. Pretty pretty steep difficulty curve. But enjoyable if you want to put the time into learning how to play and getting good at it. Uh, I definitely recommend it. It's a good bargain game. It's a good indie game. And it definitely deserves people's support. So... I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Feedback is always appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.